It's Tony Benton and I'm here with a couple of folks very instrumental in putting on the SCAN Seattle College Access Network. See it, be it, explore your future career. With me right now, Mr. Kevin Washington. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Tony. And Karen Tolinar Demarest, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank Why don't you. we start by talking about what y'all do and what y'all have done to put on an event like this? Boy, an awful lot of work goes into putting on an event like this. Uh, Seattle College Access Network is a conglomeration of a number of organizations and the team has been working for more than four months to put this on. And there are people who put in work every week for the last four to six months to put on this event. So there's an incredible amount of work that goes into putting this on. Plus we have participation and support from the Seattle Center and their next 50 folks and then our primary sponsor, AT&T. Mm -hmm. All right, Karen, tell us a little bit about what you've been doing, what you've been doing with this event. Help put this together. Well, the other thing I wanted to add to what Kevin said is that we have more than 80 uh, individuals that come from different organizations around the city, around the region, mm -hmm. that share information and create these really fun, interactive opportunities for students to learn about careers. So they represent specific careers, specific organizations, and we have it divided into six different clusters, such as science and technology, arts and design. And they really do a great job in making it something where kids can explore and actually learn a little bit what it feels like to be them for a few moments. This is year two. The one thing that I like about among another among a number of things is that this is a really hands-on, interactive experience. Uh, let's talk about the vendors and how the vendors were approached about coming to this, and all the vendors seem really happy about being here and went the extra mile. You didn't just see a bunch of uh, literature on tables. You saw folks really able to interact and find out and talk to folks about what that career path was and how that they get involved in. Well, we have, um, as Kevin mentioned, the team that's been planning for the last four months, we have just a, an incredible team, really shares the leadership. And the first year we did this, we actually sat and thought about if we wanted people that were engaging and interesting and could share information about their careers in ways that would stimulate kids' thought and make them think differently, um, we went through by people versus by field. And we kind of sat around the table and said, who's interesting and who do we know that would be great at this? And so we started with that list and then through word of mouth found a variety of other people. And we approached them all individually. The team broke it up and if they knew people, great. If not, they did cold calls and approached the people individually to see if they would participate. And we get a great response rate from people. They really seem to enjoy it. And I think you hit upon something that makes this particular event rather unique, that combination of resources that are available to youth and family in addition to people who are really excited about and can talk about the careers that they are involved in and support. We told an awful lot of people who just wanted to sit behind a table and hide behind piles of paper, mm -hmm. don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what we're looking for here because the event really did need 25 or 30 folks who were really interested in getting out from behind their tables, bringing something that demonstrated to youth and families what the careers were about, and to engage the kids in an interactive fashion, not just show them something on a blackboard or a DVD screen, bring something that actually engages the kids, like the kids who brought the robots, or the painting guy who was here, uh, the folks at the Applied Physics Lab brought some hands-on things for folks to, to use and for kids to, to see. Those were the kinds of things that really get kids interested in various careers. It sort of bridges the gap between somebody in a lab coat you can't tell what in the world it is they're doing and then getting your hands quote unquote dirty doing something and involving them in some activity and that goes for not just the scientific folks but through all the areas that we supported we asked people to come and do something that was interactive and that would engage the kids in their career field and get them excited about it leave the hr folks at home bring the folks who can actually get kids excited about their careers. In addition to the wonderful exhibits and exhibitors were here, another thing that I found fantastic was the families that were involved. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm assuming that that was intentional. This was a very family-friendly event, an opportunity for parents to get together with their kids and discuss some of the potential opportunities that there are available in careers as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's right. So we do a lot of outreach to families within Seattle Public Schools, just both through phone calls and letters to middle school and high school students. Um, this year the superintendent uh, reported a call that went out to all middle and high school families 
uh, sharing information about the event as well as an email. And so um, it's a great opportunity because um, we found that the uh, participants really enjoy that interacting with the parents as well as with the students. 2012, this is it. It's a wrap. Uh, your feedback, your thoughts, your comments on year two, both of them. I think it was a really good extension of the first year. Uh, the team that put this together got better about dotting the I's, crossing the T's, and making some decisions around who should and who shouldn't be here based on how engaging they were when we were looking for the industry representatives. Mm -hmm. I think we'll just be looking to make next year's event bigger and better. That's right, and as a matter of fact, next year it'll move back to November. In our first year it was November. This year we moved it up to September so that we could partner with the Seattle Center Next 50 Anniversary Celebration, which concludes in October, um, which gave us a great opportunity and huge resources came our way. They were a wonderful partner, shared the rooms without a cost to us. And so there was a huge benefit in doing that this year, but November is technically when we want to do it, and the mayor has been proclaiming November College and Career readiness month and so we anticipate that that can happen again next year uh, and look forward to having that event even bigger and better next time all right this is how we get down the table goes in back the vendors come up front this is interactive see it be it 2012 uh, explore your career path there should be more career fairs exactly like this one see it be it 2012 thanks Tony. thanks Tony.